dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy, my teacher Missy, and we are so excited you're here with us today. Hey, before we start talking about that really helpful thing we're going to talk about today, should we sing? I think we should. All right. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? Thank you. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I do so want to hear a story. How about you? Yep, I think they're ready. Oh, I think so. Hey, what do you want to talk about today? Well, interestingly enough, do you know what it's doing outside right now? It's raining. It's raining outside. and. When it rains and we have to go from one location to another, like the car to a building or a, you know, into your house, or we sometimes use this thing to keep the rain off of us. Or even if you have to splash in puddles while it's raining. Yes, which of course you do. This is an umbrella. Huh. Isn't that cool? How many of you have used an umbrella? Have you have you used one before? I have one in my car right now. Um, we actually had a family reunion this weekend and um, my grandson felt the need to bring his umbrella. So we had a Mickey Mouse umbrella with us every place we went and it's very handy to keep the sun off too. Yeah, it is. Well, that's another thing you can use it for, yes, mm -hmm. is to give you a little bit of shade and that, that can be really important if the sun is very strong. But right now the sun is kind of hiding behind some rain clouds here. But that's good because we is. need all the rain we can get we right need now. This rain. We really need it. So speaking of rain and umbrellas, do you have any good books? <laughs> yes, I do. Look what I have, Miss Tracy. That is a really big umbrella. Isn't that just huge? It is, it looks like there are several people standing under it. Maybe one, two, three, four. Four people are standing under it and the duck. A duck's trying to get out of the rain. Well, this is called the Big Umbrella. Um, it was written by Amy June Bates and it was co-written with Juniper Bates. I wonder if Juniper might be her child. Maybe. It, that's just the way it's written. It kind of looks that way to me, but. We're going to find out what she has to say about this. And it comes to us from Simon & Schuster, The Big Umbrella. By the front door. You could right here, by the front door. There is an umbrella. And there is a, maybe a child in a raincoat and rain boots. It is big. And it's got a happy face. It likes to help. Shading from the rain, falling leaves, and the sunshine. It likes to spread its arms wide open. It loves to give shelter. And there it is. Two people are standing under that. Isn't that a nice way to spend some time in the rain? That is nice. You know, it looked like a one-person umbrella. Now it's a two-person umbrella. It's a two-person umbrella. It loves to gather people in. Oh, and look how many they got now. I count four sets of legs. One, two, three, four. All different kinds of legs. One person has rain boots. 
it doesn't matter if you are tall or, or hairy. It's like hairy guy. Or plaid. You can be plaid. It's a plaid coat and a plaid bag. And some enormous feet under there. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. How many legs does this guy have? <laughs> Four. Some people worry that there won't be enough room under that big umbrella. Look at all wow. the people under that umbrella. That is a lot. But the amazing thing is there is enough room. Look at all those people under there. Tall and short and four-legged and two-legged. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun and the umbrella's just smiling. There's always room. Look at all the people that are under there. All those people. Oh, and here comes the sun. I think the umbrella's gonna get a rest now. I think you're Looks right. like the rain is stopping. Juniper is in seventh grade. It's telling us about the author on the back. And she loves music, skiing books, and puddles that she can jump in. She is Amy's daughter. So Juniper was the daughter of the lady that wrote this book, Amy June Bates. Storytime friends, Teacher Missy, you want to do flannel? My favorite. What time is it? It's flannel time. Oh yeah, it's flannel time. Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. You'll never guess what we're gonna do a flannel about today. Mm -mm, it's not a turtle. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not, not, not even a truck. Not even a truck. And not even a zebra. Not a zebra either. We're gonna do a flannel about umbrellas. <gasps> I know, what a great idea, right? Okay, we're gonna do a poem today and it's called Umbrella Colors, okay? And here's how it goes. We have a little person down here and they have their hand out ready to hold their umbrella. But I wonder what color, color umbrella they'll have. Let's see. We keep our umbrellas so that we may have them all ready for a rainy day. Here is a green one to keep me dry when I open it up and hold it so high. Have you seen the umbrella that's ruby red? Oh, 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 look at the red one. It looks so regal held over my head. The rain may pour down and that is why my purple umbrella helps keep me dry. What's happening? They have a lot of umbrellas, don't they? I love the umbrella of sweet sky blue. It's big enough for both me and you. The yellow umbrella is bright like the sun it makes puddle jumping seem so much fun. The orange umbrella is saved for showers. The kind of rain that wakes up the flowers. My umbrellas are fun, I'm sure you'll agree. I just hope it doesn't get windy. What would happen if it got windy? You ever tried to hold an umbrella in the in the wind? I have. <laughs> I think our little umbrella person would probably just go flying away. Sorry, Barry. Hey, thanks for playing. Hey, Miss Tracy. <laughs> Look. Look. 
That looks like a crumpled yellow umbrella. I know. It doesn't look anything like the other umbrella, does it? This looks a little bit hmm, out of shape. <laughs> and it's called the umbrella. And you look at the girl's face. Mm -hmm. She's kind of wondering about this umbrella. It looks to me like, you think it'll work? And there's also a dog on the front here, too. The Umbrella, Beth Ferry and Tom Leichenheld wrote this book together, and it comes to us from Clarion Books. Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, look at that sky. Dreary. Weary. They're in the rain. <laughs> what does weary mean, Teacher Missy? Just kind of tired and fatigued and... Maybe they don't want to just, Yeah, they're, they're just tired. tired of it. Yeah. Okay. It's getting, yeah. And it looks like it maybe has been raining a while. Dim. Oh, she's looking out the window. Grim. Drip. Drop. Non-stop. Come on, pup. Hurry up! Boom! Thunder! Under! Ooh! That's a big boom! Looks like it was a scary boom. Yeah, it might have been a scary boom. I, I love the sound of thunder though. I really do. Stop! Stare! I don't understand my why. Coat? Hmm. Boat. Oh, read the note. It says free. Hmm, that's what it says on there. Come on, pup. She'll wrap it up. Dashing, splashing, pitter patters, crumble, tumble. Look at the poor umbrella. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, looks like it's not holding up too well. Trail of tatters. Oh, that umbrella's everywhere. And they could really use that umbrella right now. They kind of need it. <sighs> mad. She is mad. Oh, the dog. The dog is sad. <sighs> Too bad. Come on, pup. Snuggle up. Nights and days always graze. Drip, drop. Non-stop. Come on, pup. Hurry up. Hey, that's new. I wonder what it is. What's new? Something grew. Look at that. What grew out of the ground there, teacher Missy? I believe those are little umbrellas popping up. Who knew you could grow an umbrella? Who knew? Come on, pop, dig them up. Pull, pop. Don't, Ooh, don't stop. Why? Uh, dry, hold it high. To the square. We gotta share. Bright umbrellas everywhere. Look at all those umbrellas. Now everybody can stay dry. I know, now we can all stay dry together. Goodbye, dreary. Goodbye, gray. We just chased the clouds away. Now we're off to chase the sun. Something splendid has begun. And there they are, chasing away. Watch as the sun filled days unfurl. All because of one special girl. Who knew that the umbrella would turn into many umbrellas? That is so fun. Story time, friends. 
do you think we should invite teacher Missy to wave a scarf with us today? You know how much she enjoys it. How would you ask her? Oh, that's a good one. Excellent. Okay, I'll try. Hey, teacher Missy. Yes, Miss Tracy. Would you like to wave a scarf with us today? Oh, can we wave scarves? That would be so fun. That was a great idea. We'll give teacher Missy her green one. Oh, the green one, my favorite. Thank you, Miss Tracy. And we will use our red one. Now, out of your story time kits, I want you to find your scarf or your sock or your washcloth or whatever you are going to wave today. Okay? All right. Here. What? Story time friends. Elephant would like to be our story time friend today. Well, did you miss oh, Good morning, Elephant. Hello, story time friends. Did you know I can blow water out of my trunk? <laughs> wow. That's very That's right. cool. So sometimes you need an umbrella when you're around me. Just be warm. Oh, I can see why. All right, Elephant, you sit right down there and just give us a watch, okay? No, I don't mean give us a watch. I mean give us a watch, like you're watching us. Got it. Okay, here we go. The first song we are going to sing is Come Under My Umbrella. And we are going to make an umbrella out of our scarves, or our socks, or our Kleenex, or whatever you have in your hand. Here we go. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm. There's thunder and lightning and wind and rain. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm. Should we do it one more time? Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm. There's thunder and lightning and wind and rain. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm. Nice job, way to use your umbrellas to protect you from the rain. You people are so smart. Okay, the next one is called Umbrella to the Rescue. And this is a poem, this isn't a song. So we're just going to say it, okay? Here we go. Raindrops, raindrops falling all around. Pitter patter on the roof, pitter patter on the ground. Here is my umbrella. It will keep me dry. When I'm walking in the rain, I hold it way up high. Hold it way up high. When the rain is over and the sun comes out to shine, I fold up my umbrella so it's ready for next time. There we go. Our umbrella's all set to go. Story time, friends. Did you ever think about how wonderful an umbrella is before today? Well, it's not something we think about, but they're very useful. I mean, look at all the different colors umbrellas our little umbrella person held today. They could use those umbrellas to help a lot of people. Absolutely. And here, the big umbrella, it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because there's room for everybody. There was. And then what happened with the yellow umbrella? <gasps> it grew umbrellas all over the place. That was a crazy fun idea. But now I think, my friends, it might be time to say goodbye. I think it is. Would you sing with us? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Find an umbrella if it's raining. <laughs>